Hello everyone, it is your girl Love and Lacey Curls here and it has been a while. Um, my braces have been removed for about six months now. So here I am showing you guys my results. I had a video pre-recorded before, but for whatever reason, the sound wasn't working and therefore I did not upload it. But here I am finally discussing some of the details of life after braces. So if you're interested in hearing that, uh, continue watching. Right, so when my braces were removed, it wasn't a painful process, but it did feel weird because you felt like them pulling the brackets right off. So that was weird. Also, when they scraped your teeth to get the glue off, that was also super weird and kind of scary because it feels like, you know, they're doing something really weird to your teeth, but nevertheless, it was a smooth process. It wasn't painful and yeah. So don't get nervous when they have to take your braces off because it shouldn't hurt. And at least from my experience, it did not hurt. So after getting my braces taken off, I was able to get my teeth cleaned, which I mean, it would only make sense that you would get your teeth cleaned after you get your braces off. I'm not sure if that's something naturally that's set up, but I made sure that I set that appointment at the same time um, when I got my braces removed. So try to do that. I'm not sure if that's something that automatically is a no brainer when you get your braces off, if your dentist does that right away or not, but set the appointment for both that day. Also with my dental plan, I was able to get two different types of retainers. One were these babies that are like the Invisalign. Um, I wore these all day during the day. And these were for at night. Oh, my hair on that. Were for at night. And uh, also to this day, I'm also still wearing these at night. I never missed a day of wearing my retainers, neither should you. Um, I know for a lot of people that's hard. For me, it was very easy when you really enjoy your smile and you're really happy with your results. You don't want to do anything that will reverse your results or do anything that will, you know, cause you to have to make further payments for your teeth to get braces all over again. I refuse to pay for braces again. It just was something that I don't want to do again. Um, okay. So if you can, um get a retainer case i hear a lot of stories about people losing their retainers or throwing their retainers away by accident um most times all the time when you would eat you would always have to take these out a lot of people set them on napkins after they take them out so that they can eat but if you put them in a container like this while you eat then you won't lose them so i believe most people when they get the retainers that they come in a case. So try to keep your case and always try to keep your case with you. Maybe put it in your purse or your backpack or something like that. So that will help to prevent you from losing your retainers and having to do the braces treatment all over again. Also how I would clean my retainers would be with uh, either the peppermint castile soap or the seventh generation um, dishwashing liquid. Uh, I would just take like a new brush that I never use, like a new toothbrush and wet the bristles. Then I would put a little drop of my cleaning product on there and I would take the toothbrush and scrub my retainers on um, both at the top and at the bottom. And after I would be done cleaning them, I would put them into their own cases like this and I would keep the case open so that, you know, it dries really good and it's not like closed in and like growing weird bacteria and stuff on it. So that's how I would clean mine. There are actual retainer cleansers on Amazon and things like that, but I chose to just use what I had and it worked perfectly for me. So do what suits you best, okay? The most annoying thing about retainers is that you have to constantly take them out when you eat and you have to make sure you rinse them off um, before you put them back into your mouth um, after you eat. Also, these are so, so, so annoying. So annoying, okay? 
more than likely you will never get used to how these feel um now that i've made it into my six month mark i no longer have to wear the plastic of invisalign looking ones throughout the day um, my teeth are kind of like where they are right now i just have to wear these for the rest of my life at night um which you know whatever it's fine i'm happy but you'll never get used to these because these this thing like touches the root of your mouth and it makes it feel disgusting um these are not ones that you wear all day you wouldn't want to wear them all day because they literally feel disgusting it makes you want to gag because it like sits like at the top up there it's just it's just something you'll never get used to i don't think i i'm still not used to it but life after braces has been great i can finally floss how i want super easy now um brushing my teeth also is super easy i had my braces on for a year and a half i did a great job with cleaning my teeth i you know i stayed on top of cleaning my teeth um i ended up not having any cavities after a whole year and a half so i was really proud of myself for that my orthodontist was also really proud of that so Keep your teeth clean. Try to clean them as much as you can. After you get your braces off, you really don't want to have to pay for any additional work that includes filling in cavities and anything else, like in addition to all the money that you just spent on your braces. So yeah, keep it up, brush your teeth. Um, and try to follow all the rules. The only thing with my teeth, which we all knew, is that, of course, I want to get them whitened. And I plan to get them whitened uh, maybe sometime in August. So I will show you guys my beginning and ending results of getting my teeth whitened. I am super excited about that because, yeah, like I said, I never did that. So, yes, I'm happy about that getting that done. For now, I'm using activated charcoal toothpaste and I still use my Crest 3D white. So yeah, we're just gonna continue with those until I get my teeth whitened. And I almost forgot to mention that I did get my teeth shaped. So they did file them a little bit um, because my teeth were crooked in the beginning before my braces. Whatever I would eat kind of would chip at my teeth because of the way that my teeth were positioned. So I did get the top filed. Um, I did get a little bit of the bottom filed too, but I had a lot of like little ridges. So they didn't really too much do too much of the bottom because they didn't want to cut them too short or yeah, I just didn't really, really want them to get cut too short so we just kind of left them alone you know in the process of correction i did leave some things that are still natural and not perfect i did leave some imperfection there all right everyone so that was just pretty much a quick rundown of everything that has happened with life after braces so one last thing i want to say is if you really truly are considering getting braces I definitely support it because you would be very, very happy with your results. I am very happy with mine. It's the best investment that I've made in my life thus far, and I do not regret it one bit. Um, so yeah, if you wanna get braces, do it. Get your consultations done. Um, try in numerous places, uh, see what their payment plans are, and go for it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.